Good morning and welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for another installment of Dan's Quickfire 5 minute walk around videos. It's here a deep impact blue Ford EcoSport Titanium featuring the 1.5 litre Duratorque TDCI engine producing 95 PS of power. That then is trans transmitted through the front wheels through a 5 speed manual gearbox. This vehicle has done just 33,000 miles and we have some lovely specifications to talk about on these titaniums. Without further ado, let's locate ourselves to the near side front. So we've got some lovely large headlights, we've got front fog lights as well. The titanium even gives you this lovely chrome grille at the front. It really goes well with a deep impact blue colour. Moving ourselves around, we eventually come to these beautiful 17 inch machine cut alloy wheels. Machine cut gives you the silver shiny face in this case the grey paint just behind as you can see the tyres are in very good condition so I'll just show you around those there as well so you've got plenty of life left on the tyres back up to the windscreen got some sensors to discuss because the titaniums come with automatic lights so the bit that's in the shadow that little dome bit is a light sensor so as the sun goes down and the moon comes up your lights will come on automatically further north at the top there is a rain sensor for rain sensing wipers Back down to the wheels, I forgot to mention, this also has a TPMS system, tyre pressure management system. So if you do get a flat tyre, you'll get alerted on the sync module ahead of you. It's a really handy feature. To the top of the roof, we have silver painted roof rails. So if you did want a bike rack or a roof box, that's very easy to achieve. Back down to the body of the vehicle. On the driver's door there, we have one touch keyless entry and we also have folding and heated mirrors. Moving ourselves around the offside, this is the stage of the video where I just gently rock the camera down the offside and hopefully display how beautiful all those body panels are. Not forgetting to link it back round to the offside rear wheel, giving you a good look at that. I love the alloys in this one, they look fantastic. So as you might can tell, this one has a spare wheel which is in there. There's a very good use of space, so obviously there's not room for it in the boot. So I've just put it on the back. Fantastic. I'll show you in there in just a second. But that is the back of this EcoSport Titanium, like so. Now we can move that round. Uh, did, did I say parking sensors? Rear parking sensors there as well. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but rear parking sensors. Now on to the near side. So as you can tell, the diesel is filled from the near side rear. So that little flap just there. But the body panels this side are all looking very good. Near side rear wheel now. So this one has rear drum brakes, so a quick mechanics lesson for you. Rear drum brakes are ultra efficient and very low maintenance. What I mean by that is for a, a vehicle of this power and size and weight, they're a very efficient rear braking system, but you're not gonna have to put discs and pads on them. They self adjust inside and the shoes inside the, the drums last for a very long time. So very cost effective braking system, but you do have discs and pads at the front there as well. So you do have a large amount of stopping power at the front. There's down the tyre of the near side front as well, which is just great. Plenty of life on all four tyres. Right, so that's the exterior walk around. Let's have a look inside. So we can click on the button underneath the handle here and open the horizontally opening door, like so. It's a bit different to your regular vehicle, but a very nice design nevertheless. That there is the tools and jacks under there needed to change that spare wheel. So it's all tucked away nicely you still have a very tall large volume boot space i reckon you'll get a couple of suitcases standing upright in there no problem and as, again it's so tall you can stack them up where or upwards as well so yeah it's a very nice sized boot into the rear of this eco sports the offside rear door to show you around the door cards hard wearing plastic so if you did have children in the back here it'd be very easy to wipe clean keep all the sticky fingers away soft touch synthetic leather armrest we have all four electric windows. So there's the first switch on the offside rear door card. Showing you the interior. It's a part leather, part cloth interior. And on the titaniums, you get this lovely silver stitching all the way around. If you did carry those smaller humans of the world, you're going to need ISO fixing. So that's an ISO fixing point on the offside rear, and you get another one there. On the left hand rear, near side rear. On the bottom, floor mats, they're in there already. That's one less thing to worry about after purchasing. Now, to list off some spec in the driver's seat. So beginning with the mirrors, so your electric mirror adjustment is there. I think I said they're folding at the start of the video. Apologies, I just meant they're electrically adjustable. They're not folding mirrors, just thought I'd clarify that. Uh, we have four electric windows and your rear child locking found there as well. 
Let's bring it around, showing you the front two seats. Again, a lovely ebony leather cloth down the lower back. But you get extra support in the lower back and the base part of the seat. I'll just show you around the seat there, mainly adjustable, so rear tilt, height, and forward and backwards is done on the rail down there. On this cluster here, this is where you can find your automatic lights. Leave it on the A, you won't have to touch that again. You have a dimming switch there for the analog dials, and also adjustment for the headlights. On the steering wheel, the right hand side, it's where you can find your cruise control. This is fantastic if you're sitting on the motorway for a long period of time. This will improve your MPG incredibly. Left hand side of the steering wheel, you have media controls for the sync module. That there is your analog driver's display, and the exact mileage is 33,772 at point of taking this video. But very easy to understand your RPM gauge to the left and your miles per hour to the right with kilometers an hour in the middle. So just quickly whiz through this bit as well. You have an old school clicky handbrake, 12 volt socket, an aux in, a USB in as well. Five speed manual gearbox is there, leading up to your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls. Sorry about the sunlight, and then we try and stop that for you. There we go. So you've got fan speed to the left, temperature to the right, air conditioning in the middle, and a digital readout on the temperature as well, which is really lovely. As you can see, it's automatic air conditioning. You have your automatic function to the left hand side. Going upwards, that is there your sync module. Uh, you can plug your phone into that via USB or Bluetooth, so you can take incoming uh, incoming phone calls there, also make outgoing phone calls, you've got voice recognition on there as well. So yeah, a fantastic little system. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. If you're interested in this EcoSport or any other vehicle here at Perkins Garages, give me a call, 01376 550 899. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again real soon. Bye bye for now.